I remember watching shows like Mr. Rogers Neighborhood, Arthur, Reading Rainbow, Clifford the Big Red Dog, Children's programming has been a part of PBS. This included programs such as Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, NET Playhouse, and even Sesame Street. When NET was replaced by Sesame Street, yes, that makes sense. That. Mm, kill me. On July 11th, 1994, PBS rebranded their children's pro their children's programming as PTV as part of the Ready to Learn project. A project with the goal of killing educational programming to the children and poor families. Yes, Squidward. Yes, Squidward. Yes, Squidward. On July 11th, uh, 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 tongue on stick. On July 11th, 1994. Whoops, wrong, uh, wrong part of the script. I'm not supposed to be reading that script anymore. I'm supposed to be reading. This introduced the P-Heads, characters shaped like PBS logos who would appear in bumpers between shows, but it's uh, too late for that now, so start over. This introduced the P-Heads, characters shaped like PBS logos who would appear in bumpers between shows. The PTV style was very early 90s in its design. The my microphone fell down. Whoops. Shows that followed this place this this place lift. Yes. Yes. Very good. Very good job there. Shows that followed this facelift include Between the Lions, Dragon Tales, Word World, Curious George, Clifford the Big Red Dog, Clifford's Puppy Days, Booba, Sagwa the Chinese Cat the Chinese Cat. Yes, that's how that word is pronounced. Shows that followed this facelift include Between the Lions, Dragon Tales, Word World, Curious George, Clifford the Big Red Dog, Clifford's Puppy Days, Booba, Sagwa the Chinese Cat, Cyberspace, yes, y y yeah, that's what that show was called. On October 11th, 2004, a new offshoot of PBS Kids called PBS Kids Go was introduced. PBS Kids Go was aimed at P P P P P P P P Patty Cake Patty Cake Baker's Man. On October 7th, 1999. Yeah, that's definitely when it happened. <laughs>